Education. It's something that many of us take for granted, but it's also something many don't have. Of the 7 billion people in the world, there are 792 million adults who are illiterate. What is alarming is that of these 792 million, two-thirds are women. This is an issue that affects numerous countries around the world and by extent, every single one of us. In Tanzania, a third of women are illiterate. In Bolivia, 30% of adult women cannot read or write compared to 5% of men. The situation in Pakistan is just as prevalent with only 40% of women above the age of 15 being able to read or write compared to 70% of men. It is in Pakistan that one of the most inspirational figures of this century rose to prominence. This is the story of Malala Yousafzai. Is not my day. Today is the day of every woman, every boy, and every girl who have raised their voice for their rights. On the 9th of October 2012, the Taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead. They shot my friends too. They thought that the bullet would silence us. But they failed. And out of that silence came thousands of voices. The terrorists thought that they would change my aims and stop my ambitions. But nothing changed in my life except this. Weakness, fear, and hopelessness died. Strength, power, and courage was born. Malala was a student in the Swat Valley when she began campaigning for girls' rights to an education. Incensed, Taliban extremists shot her in the head. I want to become a doctor. It's my own dream, but my father told me that you have to become a politician. So I dream for all the children that they should go to their school because it's their right. It's their basic right. I have rights, I have the right of education, I have the right to play, I have the right to sing, I have the right to talk, I have the right to go to market, I have the right to speak up. When girls are educated, their families are healthier, they have fewer children, they wed later, and they have more opportunities to generate an income. One extra year of primary school boosts a girl's future wage 10 to 20 percent, and an extra year of secondary school increases that earning potential by 15 to 25 percent. Education also helps mums take better care of their kids. According to the World Bank, each additional year of female education reduces child mortality by 18 per thousand births. I, 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 I am, am Malala. Malala. 